For generations, women in this area have been decorating and painting their homes using mud and ashes to give their homes a new look during winter before stakeholders turned it into a competition which is now attracting international tourists. What started as just activities to wind up time during winter when all the harvesting is done has earned communities in Matobo district a good name and a potential tourist attraction. I'm a designer, 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 I'm a we continue to preserve and promote the art of traditional heart painting and decoration by the women of Matopos. Together with our different partners, um, we are making sure that this art does not just die within the Matopo community, but to make sure that everyone has access to it from all corners of the world. Stakeholders who gathered at Amagoku Culture Center in Matopo for the awards ceremony this Friday concur that the beautiful home designs have a potential to spur tourism growth. Very few tourists come to the Matopus. It is completely under-marketed. And yet the Matopus is a World Heritage Site. The Matopus is one of the most beautiful places. It's really nice to see a cultural and artistic side uh, of this important region. And of course, we completely support Mayor Coulthard's efforts to bring more tourism to this area and improve livelihoods in that way. This place is so artistic. Not only artistic because the women are painting their hearts, they are painting their faces and they're reminding us of what we read in history, how our women look like. Women have always been about beauty. Yeah? The award ceremony recognized the diverse designs depicting a typical traditional Ndebele homestead. This is a project that we do and we do it full heartedly, but projects come to an end. And either other people come in to continue with a new project but even more so, this project, or what we are trying to contribute as an impulse, has to be 100% local. The award ceremony saw women walking away with water tanks, wheelbarrows, plows and food hampers. Providence Maranelli, ZBC News, Matobo.